good news programs. Gotta take a little bit of water. Today is going to be a great day. We are going to celebrate the 15th birthday of Owl. Epic Gaming Owl, even though he's not here. Um, I'm probably not going to talk much because my mouth is in a lot of pain. So enunciation is a struggle. But that said... We got some great things to do in WoW today. Um, a little bit of back history for you is I started playing this at least 15 years ago. Bum ba bum. Right before BC, Burning Crusade was dropped, and uh, it was bought for me by a sweet friend of mine by the name of Kazin. And I'd met him through the Renaissance Fairs, and um, he saw me when I was performing as a magician. And um, I hung out with him and his his two dear friends. And good to see you, Rissa. And at the time, I didn't play a lot of um, games, but I loved uh, Legend of Zelda. And he was like, oh, you like MMO, you like EverQuest. I'm like, yeah, I love EverQuest. And he's like, well, I got one for you. I said, oh. And he goes, yeah, if you play Camelot and you play EverQuest, you'll like WoW. And I went, no. And um, about that time, uh, uh, I was introduced to a realm of beautiful, wonderful things, and I uh, was terribly excited about it. But at the exact same time, there was a little ball of jeans that were growing. That was a teeny tiny baby that was happening at the very same time. That I got wow. And I went, oh, it's destiny. So this is why we are celebrating Owl's 15th birthday, which is today on the 17th, with wow, because that was his very, very, very first game. And he was viewing it from the inside. And, um,. After he was born, he would sit in my lap, and he would get so excited when I'd play. Uh, so, let me tell you. Wow, is his game. He's a wow baby. I'm so excited to see everybody. We got some things to take care of, and um, Lucilite, who is right there on the screen, is my lovely guest. For however long uh, she is able to chill out. Uh, or before I end up wandering off to quest. Um, but she is the guild man's mass mistress. Master mistress. Of our guild. Lords of the Pants. I have to tell you to me that that's a fantastic uh, guild. Any, any guild uh, masters? Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Kaimim. Uh, Lucilite is our mistress of Lords of the Pants. No, I'm not going to try to say that t five times past. It was hard enough to say it the first time through. Um, but I see so many wonderful faces in chat. Oh my goodness, you guys make my heart so warm to see everybody here. Oh, thank you. But yeah, no, don't sit down, buddy. Don't sit down. No, I, I need to make you a little bit... No, that's... What are you doing? Bad screen. Bad. Sorry, gang. I have to make the screen a little bit smaller so I can see what I'm doing. It's like that. Um, 
Uh, now it's telling me I'm AFK again. Bad. Shame, 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 shame. Uh, Mr. Pintip sends his love to all of you again. But Lucilite has been gathering a wondrous array of fantastic So today I get to unbox them in the guild vault, which I will also say Lucilite has worked her little hiney off to uh, get up going and open in all of its glory. Um, I love you guys. So many big hearts. But yeah, um, Lucilite is, is our, is our fantabulous girl of epicness. Uh, she is the grand panty. And for those who don't know, Lucilite is also Pixel Pal. It's, it's, uh, if any of you'd like to call him the grand mattress in, uh, any of our, in, in, in the, uh, the Discord, I'm sure. Pixel Paladin will not mind. This is me learning to walk. I have no clue what that is, but I'm gonna ding it. Oh, it's a gong! Okay, that's epic! This is a Valkyr toy, guys. In honor of uh, Owl's birthday, we're going to ding the Vesper of Harmony! Or we would have, except it's gone. All right, well, if you're ready, Lucilite, shall we then? Up, up, up. Yeah. Happy birthday to he who shall be named the Wonder Owl. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I gotta show you a lot of beautiful things. This is all to be grabbed and and uh, unboxed. So if you're excited and ready to roll, I, I kind of am too. Um, and for those of you who don't know... Um, Where was my brain? Oh, yes. Yeah. For those of you who don't know, Owl is also a part of the NPCs Only Discord community. So feel free to hop over there and loudly wish him a happy birthday. And then he can be absolutely mortified and I can be the glowing parent of absolute amusity. So, um, so we know... There is a slight bit of a delay between what I'll be doing here on in in wow and then what you guys will see. So it might be a moment or two before you guys actually see it. And with that said, I'm about to whoop. There it is with the first one. So the first one that we have right here is called a Spirited Skyfall. It is a battle pet. And it looks absolutely lovely. I'm going to take it out. Right here. I can't wait to see it. I think something happened. Oh yes, it tried to it put itself back. If you play WoW, remember to always shut the gold vault. So if you go to, you know, collect something to yourself, you can make sure to not put it back in the gold vault by accident. So I think we are gonna we're gonna collect a couple. And this is the mini mine slayer. Ooh, I like that. I'm gonna put that one right beside our Spirited Skyfall, and good to see you too as well, Azuki. Veil, hey! We're just, uh, we're, we're unboxing WoW Battle Pets that my Guildmaster has in the vault that has been waiting for me to come and pick up. Guys, 
Bill is the amazing writer of epic griffin stories that I have pointed out to you a couple of times with the books in their hardcover glory going, you must read this. It's so good to see you back. Oh, and to note, some of these are actually leveled up. Uh, this one here, the mini Mind Slayer, is already at level 25, mwah, which is the highest level you can get for any battle pet. Uh, so is the Harbinger of Flame. But the Spirited Skyfall is not. It's a level 1, but I enjoy actually leveling them up too, so that'll be nice. Out of the dia. Uh, and there it is. Okay, good. A little bad wolf. Ow! Just cut. Just cut. And down here uh, is an Imperial Skyworm. Sadly, I've already got three of three. You can tell because it says collected three of three. That makes me a little sad. Well, great to see you, Rissa. Oh! So this is a Luterang. And as much as I want it, I can't get it yet because it requires Cataclysm Engineering Level 70. And I don't even think I have Engineering Level 1. So that's a sadness. But, it does have another toy I can use, which is a dual craft. Play a dual matching game. Ooh! Ooh, that's a toy I want to play with. Okay, so we'll put that in there. So this is the first first of these. I'm going to close this so it doesn't do a thing. And then I'm going to pop that. I have collected the Spirited Skyfall. Now if I pop over here to... Collection. Hello, Giggly Piggly! Or, I mean, Piggly Giggly. Wow, my brain. I'm sorry. Forgive me. Sometimes I, I swap things. Um, I am, my guild master has been collecting pets. And so we're unboxing them. And I'm sharing the ones that I have been given. Uh, the first one we found is a Skyfall. I'm going to see. Oh, look at that, guys. It's a unicorn. Mm. I think it's adorable. And the next one. Oh, whoa, that's. Well, he's quite happy to be here, too. Look at the way he bounced. He was like, yeah. I think I'll put him in as uh, one of my favorites. Such a favorite. Yeah. I appreciate that, Vale. It has been a bit since I was last able to be on with my health. It's been really difficult to be able to function enough to do uh, any type of gaming, let alone live streaming and gaming. So I appreciate the wave on stream. It's always good to see you. What was I doing? Oh yeah, brain, brain. Something, something Pixel Paladin said was... Uh, my pets are damaged. Oh. Well. Reviving my... Oh my goodness, what is that? Yeah, that's a, that's a cute fuzzy... Oh, well, I think that's a person. That's a night elf druid. Well, um, I didn't know they look like that these days. So remember, when you revive your battle pets, that there's an eight-minute cooldown. Thankfully, we're not taking ours out of the battle right now, so I'm not worried about it. I'm gonna go ahead and click the next one. Let's. Oh no, no, no! You can hang out right there. I'm cool with it. No. It was awesome! Oh, Vail, you could have just stayed! <laughs> I, 
yes. Okay. Guys, this is the styling I love right here. I was I was wondering if it was a griffin. Because it's got that really kind of epic feather flow, but it's still like the majestic other part of the animal. So, big cat with the bird combined, and the horns are epic. Um, which uh, tree do you have to go down to get this form? Yes, I, I want it. An owl cat. Oh, guys, it's a genuine owl cat. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm still fine. Mostly fine. I want to. I want to be an owl cat, but I'm a hunter, so I can't be. But I have a druid. Mm. Mind, mind slayer. Let's see what that one looks like. Oh, he's um. Oh, he's he's really kind of cool. Wow. The Legion cat form artifact. Sometimes in the Emerald Dream, you'll hear the owl cats by a portal. If you go through the portal and find their stones, eventually the owl cat god appears and gives you an owl cat form. <gasps> oh. I mean, that sounds cool. I'd, I'd be, I'd be down for that. Our finger of flame. I'm sure I said that all wrong. I'm gonna add him to my favorite. Oh, he's, he's a pretty naga. He's on fire! Well, I have to say, Vale, this is just absolutely gorgeous. Um, yeah, I didn't have a chance to really work on the ad break yet, but hopefully that means that you guys can see me right up in the corner, even though the ad's playing. You may not be able to hear me, but you can... <laughs> wow, everybody. Hey, that's what they have to do. They make you leave. I'm just going to say, let me know when you. Harping or flame. That's pretty cool. Yay! Yeah, my the mods don't don't have to worry about ads because they're modding, so it it it's like an yay! It's two back. Wait and see if we got three and four back. Welcome back, everybody, and thanks for sitting through the ad. Um, I'm hoping in future, if I get back into doing longer ad runs, that I can actually queue them. I'd say the top of an hour, and then that'll give a chance for everybody to go get a break, or something to hydrate or eat, or whatever they need to do. And then I take a break, too, so it's a good break for everybody. That's kind of the goal. I saw another live streamer do it. I thought it was a genius idea. Which means the goal is to eventually be able to control my ads that way. So. But yes, welcome back everybody. And for those of you who didn't know, that is an owl cat that's kicking it right in front of me and looking awesome. And has told to me the secrets of how to acquire an owl cat. I hope the gods... Look down on me faithfully and allow me such a form. 
That would be majestic. Um. Where was my brain? Ah, and this is the Harbinger of Flame. As you can see, he's a rather majestic uh, Naga that's on fire. And he makes my day because he looks ever epic. Now, the next one we'll look at is the Little Bad Wolf. I should add you to my... There we go. Uh, little... There we go. Oh, he's got an Anubis feel going on. Look at him! I don't know if you guys can actually see him, but he, he looks actually really cool. I can see why he. I can see him as a, being a really good balanced battle pet. Oh, I I don't want that. I, I, oh, he's in favorite. This boy's already favorited. I should have noticed by the gold star beside his head. Um, uh, Liam is my raven, by the way. I'll bring him a little bit closer so you can see him. He was named after Prince Liam of Gilneas. And for those of you who have played, but may or may not have gone down the uh, Gilneas storyline for the Worgen, uh, Prince Liam was... Uh, I, I bonded pretty hard with him through the storyline. So, I felt that when I left Gilneas, my my pet needed to have a little bit of Prince Liam with him. And then Bones is one of my favorites. It was a gift from Uncle Slash years ago when I was playing. When they first brought out Battle Pets. And I just adored him. Okay. I need to check one thing really quick. Which means I might have to move something over really quick, but that's fine. I can make it a little bit bigger. Might actually help people. Oh, that's not good. That's not good, Rissa. Um, hey, uh, Pixel, can you tell me if that looks any better? I'm not saying how it looked before it looked bad, but I, I have the size of the, um, of the, of, of wow screen a certain size for me so I can still read chat because chat does not pop up for me like it pops up for you guys. Crazy that, huh? And yeah, Rissa, I feel better soon. Oh yeah, we'll hit it. Oh. That is a toy. If I pop over to collections, that's not collections. I was lied to. That's not correct either. I want collections. <laughs> Why is it? Mm -hmm. Oh, I was in collections. You don't see a difference? Okay, well, if you don't see a difference, there's really nothing I can do about it. Because I have tried. Um, however, um, what exactly are you seeing that is looking bad? If, if you're thinking anything's looking bad, will you let me know? So I can... 
try to figure it out. I know there's a jewel box in here. I just got it. Oh, okay. Well, as long as you guys can see the pet themselves, which it looked like you could, that was my biggest concern. So, I can't really, I can't really make it go anywhere. Ooh. Oh, check this out, guys. Tell me if you can see that this is... <laughs> okay, this looks pretty cool. Not even gonna lie. Weird, but cool. That is what the tool box does. Um, and that was the toy that Lucilite got. I need to get out of there. Uh, yeah, the empty oval is where um, subs show up, or new followers, or just stuff in general. And if I make the chat box smaller, then sadly, um, I would not be able to see it. Um, when I need to, so. I'm not sure it's going to work because it overlaps the vault. So, I might have to put it up against a different wall and uh, go from there. So, yes. I don't know how to... Um, Make the toy stop playing? <laughs> I don't know how to turn off the toy! <laughs> okay, right- Oh! Okay, that makes sense. Thank you! Oh! I- Thank you. Man, I needed I needed that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Back to the awesome of seeing the rest of the neat things in here. All right. So for our next unboxing, we can't sadly open uh the Lutarang because we do not have a cataclysm level of 70 in our engineering or any engineering at all. So I'm going to pick up the tiny blue cart, which it looks like we have none of, and it's a level 25. Ooh, we have a hissing death roach. Okay, cool. Thank you. We have a golden cloud feather. Ooh good break guy you deserve one a stick pup oh i can't wait to show that one off you guys will love it and the snap lasher Whew. so the tiny blue carp is level 25 the hissing death roach is level one the golden cloud feather is level 25 and the stitch pup is level one and the Snap Flasher is also level 1. So let's check out these guys. Ooh, I'm gonna pop open the uh, Pet Journal once again. And see... Um, Tiny. Tiny blue carp. Oh, that is a majestic fish. Can you guys see it? I'm going to turn him around. 
Look at him go. Oh, wow. He is pretty. I do like this fish. I do like fish. I think they're very, very pretty. He definitely has the, the markings of the koi. So he's gorgeous. Alright, next one we've got is the hissing death roach. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna add that one to my favorites. If I can remember how to spell Hissing death roach. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh, he is, he is a feisty. Decided to show us his butt, apparently. Um. How's that? Did anything move for you guys? I'll wait for it to catch up. Okay, well, that is the best I can do without, um, without being, I, I have no other way to, um, this is the best I can do because the pet, the pet window is locked, so I actually had to physically move over the wow screen itself, um, I have no way to do, to change it. Unless the next time I live stream, I move everything over here. Um, so, meaning my setup for my, my live streaming. Um, and if you haven't, since we're sitting at a half an hour, make sure you get some of the drink. I'm going to. Yeah, Pixel was hoping I could move it too, and I, I tried, um, so there, there is that, <laughs> um, but, hey, Hissing Death Roach, if you guys can see him, I think he looks terrifyingly awesome, um, so the next one we'll do is the golden cloud feather. That one looks like it's going to be catching my eye. Oh my goodness. Oh, I want the bird. The bird. You guys may or may not be able to see this one. It's a tiny little thing. Very pretty though. Legs flame. I, I like that. That's a good one. That's a good one. I think I think the golden cloud feather is, is really pretty. It reminds me of some of the places that I've traveled to in in this world. Um add some majestic beasties of birds. The uh, next one we'll get to check out is the Stitched Pup. I think you guys will like him if you like Franken dogs. Isn't he uh, quite the beast? Whew. He's got all the qualities that make um, him a Stitched Pup. Uh, I'm trying to remember. Uh, Pix Paladin would probably know better than me. As you can see, he's already in the, uh, lovely, uh, favorited, uh, channel. And the Snap Lasher. Let's check that one out. There we go. Oh, oh, look at 
hand? Okay, okay. I I like I like orchids, and I've always loved the Lasher um, mobs. They are a favorite mob in WoW for me. Um, when they brought out the Draenei, and where they landed was like tons of Lashers in all sorts of areas, and you you had to to do to defeat them and you know it, it helped grind your levels um i i've always liked the lasher pets i've i've always loved the lasher pets they they are a, they are a personal favorite i vote so let me rephrase that now, right now i want to add it to my favorites <laughs> um i like the lasher mobs i think they're an epic plant mob so i'm 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 totally stoked about this thank you thank you for all the pretties you've sent my way this far pixel yeah i think this free trial is file is up to uh level 20 yeah we're gonna grab this one next and then this one And this one. Oh, so broken, broken. And then that one. Okay. <sighs> okay, so I'm going to reopen up our collection. Blood boil. I think that'll be great. Let me pop this one up. There it is. Oh! 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 <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I give you... Uh, I think there's eyes in there. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not I'm seeing that. Um, gotta have, gotta have that sort of stuff going on. Yeah. No, thank you. I don't want that. So, yes, that's uh, Blood Boil. As you can see, it is a level 25, and he looks like he could seriously make a person sick, if not worse. I'm loving this. He is creepy and fabulous, and he's going to be another favorite. And I'm going to make, I'm going to give him a name, but I'm going to keep him at Blood Boil right now. Oh, yes. Uh, but only if your, your body is up to it, Rissa. Slimy Fang Tooth. Ooh, that just sounds great. Let's check this guy out. Slimy thing to oh 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 what do we got? Oh oh he's uh he's shiny. It reminds me of an elder god. But that's that's just my opinion. I'm definitely gonna set him the favorite because he looks he looks fabulous. Um, he does look like a ghost fish, yeah. That's, uh, next one up is a grappling gauntlet. Oh, these are absolutely fabulous. I've, I've never even, I didn't even know these existed. And he's a level 25, guys. <gasps> oh, oh, tell me his, his, he does some epic emotes. Look at that. I feel like he is going to pick me up and haul me all the way around. You know, like that one mount does in Final Fantasy. He looks flippin' epic. The flavor text, guys. Struggle all you want. It will just grip 
harder. He does look a little like Gandorf's gone. Yeah. Man, classy. Ah, oh, I'm loving this. All right, next one up is the uh, Wilping. The Wilping. I can English. Gannon, Gannon, Gannon Hand. That that is a classy name right there. Gannon Hand. Better better than the, uh, uh, well, excuse me, Princess Gannon Hand. That would be incredibly awkward. Its nickname is Gannon Hand. Guys, I'm just gonna bring out my Gannon Hand so he can battle the other battle pets and dominate them. It does have that those runes, yeah, yeah, it does. I like it. I think it's totally cool, and it's favorited now. And we're gonna check out the soul broken whelping. Bleh. I can English. Soul broken. That's so depressing. But look at the babies. It's so pretty. I like Dirks that glow. And he glows. He's got Spitfire. And he's got uncertainty. Soul Ward. Oh no! The Lich King tore the spirits of Sin Dragosna's lost whelp into undead in front of her skeletal form as a final affront to the great dragon. That's why it's so broken. Poor baby! It needs lots of love. There you go. The Anubis doll. doll. Ooh, this one's gonna be good. Okay. So, Anubis. Oh, <gasps> you Wolfie? Yes. Oh, look at him. It's it's probably hard to see him, but uh, the Anubis doll is uh, he's an idol from the temple of An Kirosh, infused with ancient Kirosh Kiroshi magic. I'm sure I'm saying it all wrong, but it is a thought that counts, right, guys? I want to set him to favorite. And I'm gonna, uh, move him real quick. Yes, I remember, uh, popping over to, um, the On, uh, Quirage, uh, when I was running with, uh, Jesse, whose, um, uh, uh, Toon's name was More Bad Than You. He was a death knight. And uh, we were trying to get all the ingredients we needed for bags and for um, to get the the desert bonds files because we were trying to make me one of those two person dragon mounts. And we never got done getting that taken care of before you couldn't do it anymore. And welcome, famous Dino of Turtle Lake. Always good to see you. Like, genuinely, always, always good to see you. We are unboxing Battle Pets from, from the Guild Bank. I am too, because me being caught on when I'm not feeling good, it never goes well. <clears throat> Got some more babies. Do, 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 do. Uh, 
my guild master has been so kind as to collect them and then let me know I need to come and get them and being as sick as I have been, it's been a struggle to just really game in general and live stream. I get to show them to you guys. Okay, so what we've been doing, we've been popping up the collections thing and now we're going to look at a slimy octopod. Ooh. FYI, in case you guys didn't know, I adore the um, battle pets or minions. I think they are the coolest thing. This one is a slimy uh, octopus. What do we got? <gasps> oh! 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 He looks like an elder god, but without without the facial hair. Oh! I also love octopi. Coelopods are like them, and leafy seahorses are like my top favorite aquatic being. He should have a hat. I agree with that. I now want to draw him with a hat. I'm totally setting this guy to favorite. He just looks heck of adorbs. He doesn't look slimy either. He's just the cutest thing. It almost looks like a mustache. Like in this area, totally mustache going on. I'm okay now. He should have a top hat and he should be a hat. That would make him an extra awesome hat hat. Ooh. Is that a book? Cause count me in. I'd read it. Let's check out the wretched servant. I always felt bad for the the wretched. I felt like they got the wrong end of the stick when it came to the blood elves. I don't know if you guys can really see this one. He looks cranky though. Oh. Oh. Man addicted elves too small and frail to serve in kill Jaden's army. Oh, poor guy. Don't worry. We'll make something out of you. I need to, to find Harvey Cthulhu Where's a Fez. That just sounds like a great, a great thing overall. Sunblade Micro Defender. Let us check that one out. That one sounds kind of intense. Whoa! I was not wrong. Look at him. He's got the most majestic wings. Is he a, he's a mechanical. I was going to ask if he was a bot. Look at him. <sighs> Not right now. Stop it. Let me know when you're back from the ads. Because I'm not really fast at typing today because I don't feel good. But I feel better than I did. Yes, I do. Oh my goodness. Yesterday was one of those days where I just had an endless amount of nosebleeds. It was either one off or the other and it was constant. And 
It wasn't because I saw anything inappropriate. So would you say it was one ad, three ads, five ads? We're supposed to be about 45 minutes out. Like apart from each other. But if they're not, you guys let me know and I'll do what I can to fix that. Welcome back, Kusa. Welcome back. Hello, hey. How are you, Encrypted Angels? Woo, good to see you. I saw you got affiliate. Congratulations. And I saw that you guys have a new schedule and you're rocking it. And I'm hoping you guys are finding good balance. Um, uh, if you guys need to take a break and eat, Go grab your foods, go hydrate, stuff like that. Do what you need to do for, to take care of you. That's always the most important. I'm going to rock another wa uh, sip of water in about nine minutes because hydration is really important. Um, yeah. But congratulations, Encrypted Angels. It is just excited to know that you got, that you are affiliated now. So this is the Sun Blade Micro Defender. He reminds me of one of the Beast Wars Transformers. And I think so. You know what? I had to adjust my schedule to actually make it feel more balanced to me. Um, so yeah. I'm, if, if you need to do something to make it more balanced, do that because you know what's best for you guys. Yeah, exactly. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Grimen. I like him. I think this guy rocks. Meat crack. Congratulations on your meat crack, Riza. A magma rage ring. We are unboxing a bunch of battle pets that my GM, Loose Light, otherwise known as on our live streams in chat as Pixel Paladin uh, has kindly been putting aside for me and uh, waiting for me to come in and see and enjoy. So I'm sharing with you guys. This is a Magma Rageling. Yeah, he looks like he's flaming. In the internal balance of frost, and fire, the raging flames fuel many an aggressive front. They do. I love it. I like your shield. I think it's pretty. Oh, Sister Temptation. I'm a little worried. But I'm going to check her out anyway. Ooh. Oh! Oh, I see. Okay. Well, um, for those of you in the know, and, uh, we're being waved at, that's, uh, Loose Light. Uh, that is, uh, my guild master, or Mattress. Did I say that right, Mr. Guy? <laughs> Not today! Yeah. Um, I, I, I'm looking at her and I have to admit, I thought of, uh, Desdemona at first. Oh, the smack on the butt kind of made me confused just a little bit. Uh, yes. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna change the channel really quick to Liam. That way we can keep this, this live stream, uh, as PG as possible. <laughs> that was fantastic, though. Yeah, warlock familiars. They are a spicy meatball. But I, I, I do think she was really pretty. Even if she was a spicy meatball. Alright, so. Got some more going on. Avoiding, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, rating limit <laughs> exceeded. Oh, I don't want to get my account flagged. Thanks, but no, I'll pass on that one. Okay, so bringing this up again so we can enjoy these. Uh, this is, next one up, is a Guardian Cobra Hatchling. I, I honestly can't wait to see this one. I also like snakes. Uh, I'm going to just put in Cobra. There it is. Because it wasn't good. <gasps> Ooh! He is a pretty snake. If they had one without the the flares on the side, I would um, have totally named it Nagini. But that's just me. What was that? <clears throat> oh yeah, it was a, a beautiful, it was a beautiful video. Beautiful. So yeah, I like the Cobra Hatchling. I think it's a very pretty snick. And I will enjoy battling with it. Definitely. Thank you. Okay, so the next one we got up is the Untamed Hatchling. Let's see what this guy got for me. I'll give it a moment to show up. Oh, wow. He is a spicy boy. Look at him. Um, so these are some of the, the dragon people, so to speak. Not, not, not like the ones in the new, in the newest, um, grand update patch. Um, next big wow arc um these these guys have been around or like ever in different uh, formats and i guess skins depending on where they're at to deflect the element they're in or the dragon they serve or don't serve <laughs> crocktar he's a crocktar totally a crocktar yeah so personally, I I think he's the, these guys are just absolutely epic. Um, I'm gonna totally set the favorite as well. A hungry burrower. Why am I suddenly very scared? Oh, <gasps> why does this remind me of uh Star Trek? Four was. Voyage home and Star Trek 3 was Search for Spock. 2 was Wrath of Khan, I think. Why does it. Yes, you were thinking exactly the same thing I was. You were. You know exactly what I'm thinking about. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Yeah. Something stay with your brain forever. Totally. I'm going to name it after one of those. Ugh. Ugh. No! I love it. Pixel, you've done absolutely fabulous. That one is going to definitely go on my list of terrifying pets that I have to battle with. Look at that. Oh, look. We've got, we've got an owl cat right here giving us love. I, I'm so happy about that. I really am. Totally makes my day. Um... So yeah, these are, these are, these are terrifying life forms. I love it. So it's accurately named. <sighs> let's, let's check out the next uh, scary thing. It should be. Yeah, I, I, I think you should definitely put that on your card. I, I would totally want that. I'd put it up on my wall. Bill snuck in. Ah! 
I don't even remember what we just got. Uh, do, 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 do. I think it was, uh, devouring. Yes, the terrifying creature. Let's check this devouring thingy. Oh, it looks like the, um, the death brooch? Except the mandibles wiggle more. I still think it's pretty. Come on, all the way down. Look at that. That is a classic owl, uh, uh, owl bear, or owl cat dance right there. That, that is a beautiful thing. You guys have seen it here first. Oh my goodness, that's right. Oh my goodness. Uh, um, what's his name was in it? He was the bad guy. I mean, unless you've seen it, you haven't seen it and you don't know. Gary Oldman was, no spoilers, not a bad guy. He's totally good the entire time. Get us a core fire imp. Look at this bad boy. He's he's uh he's ready to go to town. No, that's not the right thing. I gotta tell you guys, getting getting the dance, getting the the kick it with with Bale, getting the kick it with Pixel Paladin, getting to hang out with all of you guys is completely epic. It is completely epic. You guys are blessing me so much today. And as soon as I pull stuff out, we're on the hour mark. Don't forget, hydration. Oh, yeah. Needed. These bone shard guys are looking pretty good. He really gives his all. He is beautifully dedicated to what he brings forth. Um, Leon, otherwise known as Leon the Professional, I was introduced to him as an actor, Gary Oldman as an actor. And honestly, I couldn't watch another movie uh, with him in it because I thought he was going to be as psychologically terrifying as he was in Leon but he was amazing in Leon um and then I watched him in the fifth element and it took me a moment to realize who it was and then I saw him as Sirius Black and I was like okay now I'm cool and then I watched him as Count Dracula and finally I was like oh okay we good because then I got to start watching him and all his other stuff and I realized he was not that first character I'd seen him as he he he's such a versatile book he really is I'm sorry here I am chatting away I'm fine now <laughs> But yeah, yeah, for me, seeing him first in Leon, the professional, it, it did influence how I saw him, but he really was a great sword. And, but he will, he still is my favorite as Sirius. He portrayed Sirius, I feel, closest to the way the books would have portrayed him. Or he was portrayed in the books of that kind of uh, easily bored almost always carefree, very proud to be anti pure blood, for lack of a better way to put it, but at the same time 
fiercely proud because he was the only one of his family at the time that had been put in Gryffindor. He was the only one not in, not a, not a Slytherin. So here I am, off on a tangent. I'm so sorry, guys. Yes, and, and Tinker Taylor Soldier Spy. That actually is my second most favorite movie of his, Bale. Like, hands down. He was so, like, in the zone. And it just was a flawless performance of grace and beauty and moments of rawness, but yet moments of, it was just a lot, it was a lot there, so yes, yes, I agree, finger taller, tink, I can't even say it now, but that, blah, blah, blah. you know what I'm saying, it was beautiful, I loved it, artists are inspir inspiring to me, both the artists that I, I know as friends who bless you in my life, the writers, some who are here in this chat, the artists who create with with their hands in other ways, um, via pictures, who some are also here in this chat, um, and then the people that we get to see on the screen, or we get to look at their, their art, or we get to play their video games. I mean, it's just, without, without art and, 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 you know, artists, we would not have the capability to express emotion as we do as people. We are very blessed. I'm fine now. In the zone. Boop, boop, boop. Ah. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm, I'm. I'm working on it. My Wednesdays, the morning set for my live stream is definitely going to be. I've got everything set up so I can start live streaming writing again. So I'm excited. So yeah. And then the afternoon, it's my middle break, which is Wizards 101. Because it's a good, it's a good afternoon game. Where was I? Oh yeah, I, I totally lost myself in what we're doing. But you guys are awesome. You guys are love how supportive this community is. You guys bless each other so much. Oh yeah, that's what I was doing. My brain left. <laughs> okay, so the next one on our list is called the Bone Shot. I'm excited because he looks really pretty. Oh, he's He's, uh, he's, oh, he's shiny. I was not wrong. Oh, uh, uh, yes, and you really did drop right into that. Um, thank you, Mr. Guy, for bringing that up. One of the things that I'd said to everybody uh, out here is on my Wednesdays, uh, my Wednesday live streams where I, where we do the writing, uh, I was encouraging people that if you want me to share a story, to, to read something you wrote, to just DM it to me, and I would look it over, and then I would completely, I'd read it on live stream if you're, if you're comfortable for it. So, on the up and coming Wednesday, which, well, will be this Wednesday, uh, I will be reading Mr. Guy M.M.'s uh, story that he sent me. So I, I always get excited when I get to read other people's work because I feel like I get to travel from home. And I, I write and I love writing, but I don't get to escape the same way I get to escape when I read somebody else's work. So to me... I, I'm, I'm all for it, <laughs> but yeah, 
Bone Shard looks epic. I like him. He's shiny, and uh, he looks like he's having a good time. So, yeah, that guy, he's, he's, he's so cool. So, yeah, so my one stays again. If you have a story you want to share, but you don't feel comfortable, you know, sharing it, but you want it out there, I will gladly read it for you, and I will announce proudly that I get to I get to read it for you so to me it's always a blessing lay line broodling oh oh no Christ. that makes me sad that's not letting me have it there we go ha <laughs> I tricked it oh are you what I think you are? You are. Um, for those of you who aren't fans of uh, spiders, we will look at Liam again because he he's great. But I thought he was beautiful. So okay, we'll miss you on Wednesdays. It makes me say odd. Um, but that says. If you decide you still want a story read, I will gladly um, read it on the stream. And then I will make a point of having somebody clip it so that it can be posted so you can see that. I'm usually out to lunch every day. Oh, you meant, you didn't mean mentally. I'm sorry. I'm okay now. Ooh, there's a void scad beetle. Oh, I think that one looks exciting. Oh, look at that one next. Hello. Let's check you out. Ooh, you are so not bright. What a what a very beautifully dark pet. I mean, it's gorgeous. But I don't think anybody can see that guy. Well, if you can, I'd love to read anything you want to share. And, um, it is the color of the void. So in my mind, void must be a gorgeous, dark, sky black with those pretty colors of just before darkness right on the cusp edge of dusk blue right i think it's pretty i'm gonna keep it all right our next one up is i thought your favorite color was mar um not maroon it's that purple pink Oh my goodness. Yes! I'm gonna name this boy discard beetle Blue Beetle. Thank you, Mr. Guy MM. See, I was pretty sure it was a magenta. I'm really sorry to hear that, Pixel Paladin. You wrote some of the most awesome stories. About you and me, I had the classic pleasure of reading artwork for them. I loved. I think you just like it because it's a very special dye color that had to be invented for painting. That's why I think you like it. What did we get next? I did not catch that. <laughs> Go me! I'm, I've got skill. What did we learn after? We didn't learn anything, did we? I don't remember. Nope. We just had the void beetle. Okay, I'm, I'm still on the right page. Oh, that's cool. My 
Magenta. Okay. All right. You know what? I I I just think colors are amazing. So, but that's just me. All right. Next thing on the list: Fragment of Desire. Okay. Please, please do not be another sake pie. I really am trying to keep this PG. We're about to find out though. You know what I like though? I love the harpy pet. Or let's see what we got here. Level twenty five. Oh, five. Whoo! I I am not sure what to make of this. Wow! This is an absolutely trippy, yet very what the. So it's, it's emotion. That's, I, I know it kind of does feel like Majora's Mask. That is definitely, those markings are definitely Fierce Deity. Wow. Wow. I really like that. Wow. No, I, I don't want that. Thank you. Stop it! I don't know which pen has been brought out. Interesting favorite color to have magenta. Passion, passionate yet very mindful person. Could also indicate hesitation and decision making. Deeply feeling everything and possibly may think in emotions. Meaning weighing decisions on how you feel versus analytical thinking process. That is cool. Thank you so much for sharing that. That was awesome. <sighs> nope, that's not what I want. Go away. I don't want to cry. I will just put you right there. Thank you. Oh, so many things. Waiting for the ads. Just waiting for the ads. Waiting for the ads, my friends. Waiting for the ads. Welcome back. For those who are back. Yay, you're all back. Huzzah. I think you're all back. Are you guys all back? Maybe. Encrypted, thank you for sharing that. That was totally awesome. I, I have to admit that my my favorite color often uh changes because i'm a very complex person <laughs> so we'll just leave it at that but welcome back everybody sometimes they don't happen sometimes they they did and congratulations on your meat crack I'm glad I'm glad that that you were given such joyously wonderful things. Okay, so we saw the fragment of desire. We've talked colors. I'm still kind of in awe of the of that that definition on magenta. Now we're going to look at the rune light lipa and the bright glow in front of Gary Oldman. Oh, 
Oh, wow. Okay, so actually, I got to confess, my, my, my favorite shade of blue, if I had to get, I do best with shades of colors. So my favorite shade of blue is also green, and that would be teal or turquoise. Because I feel like I'm in both the air and yet I'm in the water when I'm near those colors. I'm not sure if that what that means, but eh, air has a flow and water has a flow, so maybe that's what it means. I like to be a person that uh, thinks about everything, but also has a variety of options because I like to help people solve their problems, and I like to make sure that my problems are solved as well. So. They really are pretty blues. They are pretty, pretty blues. I'm not sure what we're saying no on, but... Okay, royal blue is gorgeous too. Yep, it is. It is a gorgeous color. It's true! Air and water are both fluids. And they also can both be gases. Especially if you're downwind. I'm sorry. I'm trying to be good. It came out before I could stop it. I'll be mostly behaved. We have a rune light leaper, and he is a very pretty color. He's got that sky blue for his eyes, and he's got some richer blues near his feet, and he's got the teal on his tail. I would call that feathering. It reminds me of a flying squirrel. What's naughty? Do I want to know? Oh. I think somebody's been sneaking stuff in there while I wasn't looking. Oh well. Uh, I know Jareth is really fond of jewel tones. Uh, especially jewel blue. Um. So... That one. Okay, we got another bunch in. Woohoo! We're getting there. I can open this. I have skill. Oh, hey! Wow, there's there's uh, a lot of stuff going on in chat here. Oh, cobalt blue is a nice one, too. What feels right and what makes logical sense? That is so brown. That is so brown. Yes. That is an accurate brown. Hey, hey, Hellcat! Uh, I'm sorry about the heat. Make sure you take good care of yourself. And we are coming on that half an hour mark. Hydration is your friend. And believe it or not, I did have Ren on the phone, but their call dropped. Yeah, we are rocking an hour and a half. That's why I'm making sure that everybody remembers to hydrate uh, every half hour. And my mods are really good at telling me to do that, too. Ah, putrid geist. I gotta check this one out. With a name like that, you know he's gonna have friends. <laughs> Oh, wow, he's a, uh, he's, he's, he's definitely something else. Yeah, he is. He still looks really cool, actually. Despite being decrepit and undead, wow, that kind of is 
I feel called out right now. Guys move with exceptional speed and agility. I like that. He is fantastic. I wouldn't call him cute, but I like I like the flavor text for him. Okay, so in in uh, in Minecraft, hands down, my favorite jewel is lapis lazuli. Lapis lapis is my favorite, and and nothing can top that for me. Where someone's favorite color tells me a lot about someone. Oh, that's cool. That makes sense. Yeah, I think colors do, do reflect a person's psyche. I am definitely in agreement with you on that. But because I think it also reflects how they mentally see themselves. So they, it, depending on the shade, can define whether or not they see themselves in um, a vibrant aura or a very quiet aura. Ooh, pernic, per, per, I, pernicious, pernicious, I bet that's the word, pernicious bone tusk. Gotta check this guy out. I'm sure I'll spell it all wrong. Nope, I saved myself. Oh, he's cute! In a really strange sort of, um... Almost the miners from um, Galaxy Quest. Well, I'm colorblind, so that complicates how I view colors, anyways. Um, and that's also another reason why my color, my favorite color, changes. Right. The pig lizard. Yes, thank you. Thank you. So we have, yes. Oh my goodness. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Best line in the movie. Poor, poor Captain Quincy. Oh, it's a thought that counts. The boars are, the tusks are in the right place, right? And I no. can't use that item yet. And no mud. That's a name. What are you? Oh! You're a blob! Your eyes are far more defined on this one, though. I kind of like it. I'm going to call you Blobby. Oh, I like that. And it exploded. I heard that. Best line. Best line. That is really cool. And I appreciate you sharing this stuff with us, Encrypted. Because it is totally, this is totally cool stuff. I like this guy. I think he's epic. A little blobby, but that's what makes him awesome. A drudge ghoul. I kind of want to see that one too. Let's check him out. <clears throat> I don't remember. What does this one look like? Ooh, we got it. Wow, okay, so I remember when I was playing Horde originally. And I would see these guys. Get and run across one area and then run back and suddenly flare their arms and a whole group of them would attack you. <gasps> oh, oh, Norm Macdonald. I liked him in the stuff he was in. 
I did. I thought he was funny. I thought he was serious. He he had a way of being so straight-laced in that sarcasm as he gave it to you, and yet there was that smile on his face that went to his eyes. It went all the way to his eyes because you knew he was enjoying the moment. Oh, whoa, that's that is awesome, Encrypted. That is totally awesome. I'm going to keep this dredgeful. He's going to be my face right here. Oh, he was left by... He, he's adopted! He was left by the Lich King, poor thing. Personal wool... Thunderwear! This was a minion made by Thunderwear! Pixel Paladin, do you know who Thunderwear is? I am now curious. Sweet! Okay, I'm gonna do something really quick. No, that's not what I want to do. No, that's not what I want to do. I need to look at that. I think it's epic. So this is the personal world destroyer, peeps. Don't know if you can see it. Um, he's a, a beast. Look at that. Look at that. He kind of reminds me of one of the um, end bosses in one of the... Uh, Rockman. Mega Man. One of the Mega Man games. Help me out here, Mr. Guy. I think you know which one I'm talking about. Oh. You know what? I think that he is very successfully inspired uh, by a lot of things. Yeah, he does. He reminds me of the Wily Bots. Yep. See, I knew, you, I knew you'd know. I knew you'd know. This is epic. Okay, we got a bit more to go. You guys have been so kind and patient with me as we rock through this. And just... Oh, that's not a pet. All the babies. I've already sadly got a saber kitten. I got three in fact. Thank you so kindly. They are lovely. A uh, microbot. And a stid. <gasps> the squid. I mean, he sounds pretty cool. I'm a saving for last. We're going to go. Lightning Stone Kid. And we'll just bring up that one too. Okay. Alright, so the last ones were here. You guys got to see the bone tusk. We all agreed what he was. I'll just go ahead and go boop. Uh, I will bring up the Boyd Scar Pup because I know that Chico will adore this so much. This is the Boyd Scar Pup. What do you think? It is the same blue as that beetle.
And yes, above him I have a cat, a void scarred cat by the name of Ronaldo Moon. He is, he's hecka dark. <laughs> uh, but I love this puppers. Oh my goodness. I am totally sending him the favorite. I'm not excited. You're excited. Uh, yeah, yep, yeah, that's the truth right there. That completely sucks, Hellcat. That completely sucks. I'm sure he's a boo boof boo boof. The Void Scar Pup has seen some things. This pup is now more than just a bundle of fur and teeth. It is fur, it is teeth, and it is void. Oh yeah, I, 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 I could, I could see that easily. Oh man, you were a both. Yay! Were you, were you blood? Or were you, were you, um, been so long, I don't remember. Alright, where was I? What was your tree for death night? I guess I'm asking. You were, so you, thank you. Were you unholy or were you, were you blood? Because I rolled frost. And I, I would roll, I'd roll blood when I was dungeoning, but I would roll frost when I was soloing because I liked frost best because I liked mm. walking on water because I'm not original and I like to fish. Um, oh, I'm afraid of that one. We're going to look at that one second to last. Microbot XD. Let's check this bad boy out. First, I will remove that. What do we got here? <gasps> you look kind of like a chicken without a face. I like it though. Oh! Oh my goodness. It's because you're a mecho. I, I mean, yes. I I think it makes sense. <laughs> well, there's no there's no wrong way to do a to do a, a tree if you find uh, what works best for you. Uh, I would look at a lot of the different trees that they'd set up for. You know, death knights and and for druids and for the other stuff. And I found at the end of the day that I worked best. Um, yeah, he totally did, totally did. Um, I worked best when I found something a little bit from each that really kind of made it easier for me to do stuff with. So that is the Microbot XD, as Mr. Guy said in chat. Wee-oo, 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 wee-oo. Because minions. I know what you did there. And now we're going to check out the Lapping Stonekin. I have to admit, I really like these ones because they remind me of, like, Chinese spirits. Which one was that? Stone Kim. Three, two, one. Show it for me. Isn't it pretty? They're just pretty. Like a sacred animal that got enchanted. In this case, an ox, I would think. Because of those horns and the way the face is done.
So the last, the laughing stone kid says, the earth that's rumbling beneath your feet, is it quaking or laughing or both? Which makes me think of a song that I can't remember who wrote, but I remember her singing about the earth moving under our feet, about this guy I tumbling down. And I think about this, I think about that every time I look at the, laugh, the laughing stone can. I'm wondering, are we dealing with ads again or are we still good? Tears of the Kingdom. Yeah, Tears of the Kingdom is, is dropping next month. And the hype for it is so big right now that people who have been getting to play it free are having a hard time not, not telling us about it. Which would get them in trouble. Alright, I'm going to let you, my dear fam decide whether or not I'm going to go with Sid the Squid first or I'm going to go with Void Scarred Hair. These are our last two. Scary Rabbit. Okay. You know what? I actually like that idea. Scary Rabbit first and then and on the cool squid. Okay, you know what? I think that's a great idea. So, scary rabbit it is. I don't know. If it sounds like a scary rabbit, I don't know if it's going to be precious. Boy, it's scarred. The level 25 and oh my goodness is this a warble bunny this is like a warble bunny i don't know if you guys can see it he definitely seen a few things or she it's hard to tell oh it's scratched definitely gonna see Alright. It does look vorpal. Remember, if it's not vorpal, then you're dead. Only a being of immense power could scar such an adorable creature. Unless his hair was already approaching the darkness. Oh, poor baby. Look at that cute little buncho. He is fabulous. I adore him. Okay. Last one up, guys. We're doing great. Sid the Squid. Here we go. Oh, my. It's an elder god. Oh, so cute. I mean, I I think it's great looking for um for for an octopi. Yeah, yeah. Pets it. The tiny squid. <laughs> The tiny squid seems to enjoy wearing pants, but where in the world would you find some that fits? Well, then I think Sid the Squid is in the best guild for that because this is the Lords of the Pants, and um, 
they're unsuitably appropriate to wear pants in. I like the fact he's got this single eye. Look at the back of his head. Poor baby. He is just, just absolutely fabulous. I think he's just the best ever. Oh, say hello, Betsuos. Hello. Oh my goodness. Well, guys, we done seen a lot of things. Wow. And the uh, charm went off and storm went. Hydration is the best. I am seriously, seriously um, encouraging you guys to um, pop it and lock it and make sure you always hydrate. Uh, I know with my mouth, I am going to need, going to need to take a little break. However, uh, I'm also going to need to get more food. So... I'm going to say that we've had an amazing stream. We unboxed, I don't even know. Oh, hey, an ad break. Do some ads. An ad break. Do some ads. An ad break. Do some ads. We've had three slots of ads. Yeah. <clears throat> No, that's not what I want to do. Stop. Stop. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, well, we've had three rolls of... What would you say? They were like half an hour apart? A little more than that. Give or take. So, I guess what I should do is a disclaimer, or I can try to, I'm going to try to see if I can, um, set it up so in my layout, I can just pop the ads, like, at, at the top of the hour, so to give myself a break and give you guys a break, because I think that would, that would work a lot better. I'm not trying to do that, but I'll, I'll figure it out. Um. Mouth. I need to give it a break. <laughs> so nobody minds. Um, we've had a fantastic um, live stream. It's been wow. We've unboxed so many pets, battle pets, and there's so many more. And I was excited to get to do that with you guys. I thought it was awesome to get to hang out with Vale. With us in his owl cat form, majestic beast that he is, um, and uh, we got to hang out with Pixel Paladin, aka Lucilite, my ever lovely of the Lords of the Pants Guild. On, um, great. And I'm going to take care of me because you guys are trying to help um, Hellcat decide whether or not they're going to reinstall 
Guild Wars 2. Personally, I love the game, but my account got hacked years ago, and I've never been able to play it since, so. Um, but with that said, I want to remember these games don't play and I will definitely see you on the next live streams. Ground.